if the particle is at rest at t equals 0.558 and t 0.4774, um, and we stored those in our calculator as a and b, right? Now they're asking is what is the position? Okay, what is the position function? Well, do we have the position function in our calculator? No. no. So let's go ahead and put that in our calculator. Oh, how did that get hit? Oh, it's going to thank you. Whoa. Okay. So let's go to our y equals and let's put in the position function. I don't really need the y2 anymore, so let's put it in for y2. Now, typically, you know, we could, it doesn't really matter which order. You're just going to have to remember that velocity we put in y1 and position we put in y2. So anyways, this is going to be x cubed go over minus 8x squared plus 8x. OK? So now that's the position function. So I can second quit this. Time intervals. Not only that, it's certain time intervals that are like decimals that go on and that are crazy, right? <clears throat> so again, exactly what Sydney said, you're going to want to use your vars function. Go to y's vars function. And then again, just be careful. Want to make sure you use y2. Okay, do y2, open parentheses, alpha a, close parentheses, 2.14. Now, do we have to go back to y vars? You could, but also to save some time, you can also hit just hit second entry. That restates exactly what you just wrote, and then let's just replace a with b, because that was my other value. And then negative 35.33. Okay? So we found the value or the uh, position Not into this because that's going to give you the velocity. You got to go back to the position function. That's what we did, though. That's what we did on the calculator. What? Then what? What do you want to plug that into that equation? Like manually do it? Oh, you're plugging it a yeah into all those. Yeah, I mean you could. Yeah, you could do it that way as well. But I'm showing you in this because. Yes, again, you got to think of like the examples I'm choosing. I'm choosing examples that are relatively simple. If you have something that's crazy complex, which you're probably going to see, you wouldn't want to be do like you might, may, I don't know. It all depends on the equation. So, yes, that is an alternative way to do it. But I'm showing you that way for ones that you would never want to do it that way. You have another option, right? Um, and at t equals a is 2.14. And feet. Negative thirty-five. Now, um, this is something where we would probably have a little bit more context into this particle. I'm leaving this pretty vague as far as where is this position, like what is this particle doing. Um, we'll talk about that as far as the graph going left, right, up or down, and so on and so forth. So all kind of, usually on a problem we might be talking something a little bit further.